Pastors Laura Tri Ministries invites everyone to fast and pray every Thursday and Friday for God to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke in our nation. Then your light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your reward. The time is now. The awakening is here. Tune in Fridays at 6 a.m. for The Awakening with Logos Laura Tri Ministries. The time is now. Join Logos Laura Tri Ministries in prayer and intercession for our nation, the Caribbean, kingdoms, women, children, and our neighbors. Second Chronicles 7, 14 to 15. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land now mine eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto prayer that is made in this place the awakening is here the time is now Prayer and intercession. It's Fridays, 6 a.m., only on WAC 90.1 FM. My salvation, someone magnify the Lord with me Lord, we praise you this morning as we continue to worship the true and the living God. We said, oh Lord, let your will be done in the lives, O oh Lord, of your people. And let, O oh God, your presence continue to dwell with us, Father. Lord, hear us right now, O oh Lord, and attend, O oh God, unto our cry. As a nation, Father, give ear unto our prayer that go not out of foreign lips father as we pray O oh lord unto you as we call upon your name father i pray that you hear us from this nation and that you will stretch out your hands over each and every one of us let O oh god your sentence O oh lord come O oh lord in our presence and let the eyes O oh god below the things O oh lord that are equal father in this nation i pray father Reach out your hands over each and every one of us. And bring us, O oh Lord, in a place, O oh God, of equality. That your name will be glorified. Father, you have proven our hearts, O oh Lord. And you have seen the hearts, O oh God, of this nation. Father, thou art visited us, O oh Lord, in the night. And thou art tried us, Lord. And thou art find, O oh God, nothing, O oh God, in us. But, O oh Lord, your purpose may manifest, O oh God, through our mouth that oh god transgression will depart from our hearts lord jesus that oh god your will and your purpose so lord will manifest in the hearts oh god of your people that they will know that you are the true and the living god concern the works oh god of men that are in this nation by the words oh god of our lips so lord we keep you lord in constant prayer of father and we ask you, Lord, to depart, O oh Lord, from us, O oh God. Those, O oh Lord, that are set out, O oh God, to destroy this nation. Let destruction, O oh God, do not be a, God, a part of our lifestyle. But, O oh God, your name to be glorified. Father, of all our going out and our coming in, 
direct oh God our foot to Lord in every way that we go I pray Father this morning we as a nation will continue to glorify and to worship you in spirit and in truth Father we have called upon you oh Lord and we pray that you hear us because you are the God that incline oh God that you hear the Lord unto our prayer and oh God you hear every speech that ought oh God from the heart so oh God of your people Father, show us, O oh God, your marvelous works. And let, O oh God, your glory, O oh God, and your loving kindness continue to manifest in this nation, Father. You have saved us, O oh Lord, by your right hands. Wash us, O oh Lord, God, that we could continue to put our trust in you. That, O oh God, you raise us up against evil men. We drive back every plan of the enemy and every trap, O oh God, of wicked devices, Father. We destroy God every stronghold. And Father, keep us, O oh God, as the apple of your eyes, Lord Jesus. That you, O oh God, could overshadow us, O oh God, by your wings, O oh Lord. We ask you, Lord, that you take full control over us. And let your name be glorified. Let your name be glorified. We just say special good morning to each and every one. You are tuning to Logos Lord Tri Ministry. Where we pray. Where we intercede, where we lift up this nation in prayer and in request as we continue to worship the true and the living God. I now take this opportunity to hand straight over to Logos Lord as she deliver what God has given unto all to share to this nation. And may this nation continue to be blessed and that God be glorified. Logos Lord. Bless the Lord. Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Lord Jesus. We give God the praise this morning. The honor and all the glory belongs to the true and living God. We say thanks and praise be unto his most holy, matchless, and conquering name. Yes, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and to forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And bless the Lord this morning. We say thanks. We say praise. We say glory be to God. Hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom has come. Thy will is done. Bless God. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. We thank God for his love and kindness this morning. And we thank the Lord for his tender mercies. We say morning by morning, new mercies we see. We give God the glory. We give him thanks. We give him thanks for being our strong tower this morning. And we are asking this morning to run into the strong tower of the Lord. To run into the arms of the Lord and let him take, take refuge this morning. Amen. And the word this morning is pertaining to Susanna's trial this morning. And are you on trial this morning by fire? Are you on trial this morning like Job was in trial? Are you in trial of your feet? Is your feet tested? Are you surrounded by walls? that seems to close you in are you feeling this morning that you cannot go on a day longer a minute longer are you at the place this morning where you do not know where to turn to this morning i urge you to look up for your redemption draw it to look unto the author and the finisher of our faith this morning and petition this morning shift your prayer to another gear and let us petition for the things that seems to be stubborn 
for the things that are reoccurring. And I encourage you this morning to have a meeting place with God. Adam had a meeting place with the Lord. Amen. This morning, find a meeting place where it's one on one with you and God alone. Shut out the noise of the day and speak to the Father about everything that concerns you today. Amen. God cares, God hears, and He understands the weakness of man. Petition prayer for all to hear. Let the healing begin. For the time has come for the children of God. Children of God, your time has come. Our time has come. The enemies have used up their last straw. It is time for more exposing of the things they are doing to make the children of God look sad. As though they have the upper hand. I declare and decree this morning to the child of God. The table is now set for my children of Israel to come to the father through the son. Amen. And the table is being set. The time is now for the children of Israel to come to the father through the son. Jesus is the only one to help Israel out of bondage of what is happening. Israel will need a word of revelation to understand the situation is not a war that started on earth. It's a war that started in the heavenly courtroom. Amen. And as we read the book of Daniel, if you look in your Bibles, you may not find the chapter Daniel 13. But if you pull it up online, you will find Daniel 13. And as led to read this, Daniel 13, hear the story of this. So before I get into the meat of the word, we'll share about the trial of Susanna. And we are speaking to all those who could identify this morning with Susanna that was spoken of in the Bible. Thank you, Foxy, for sharing that audio with us this morning. Susanna's Trial, Daniel Chapter 30, which could only be found online. In Babylon, there lived a man named Jo Kim, who married a very beautiful and God-fearing woman, Susanna the daughter of Hayakar. Her parents were righteous and had trained their daughter according to the law of, of Moses. Joachim was very rich and he had a garden near his house. The Jews had recourse to him often because he was the most respected of them all. That year, Two elders of the people were appointed judges, of whom the Lord said, Lawlessness has come out of Babylon, that is from the elders, who were to govern the people as judges. These men, to whom all bought their cases, frequented the house of Joachim. When the people left at noon, Susanna used to enter her husband's garden for a walk. When the elders saw her enter every day for her walk, they began to lust for her. They perverted their thinking. They would not allow their eyes to look to heaven and did not keep in mind just judgments. Though both were immoral of her, they did not tell each other their trouble for they were ashamed to reveal their lustful desires to have her. Day by day, they watched eagerly for her. One day, they said to each other, let us be off for home. It is time for the noon meal. So they went their separate ways. But both turned back and arrived at the same spot. When they asked each other the reason, 
they admitted their loss and then they agreed to look for an occasion when they could find her alone. One day, while they were waiting for the right moment, she entered as usual with two maids only wanting to bathe in the garden, for the weather was warm. Nobody else was expected. The two elders who had hidden themselves and were watching her. Bring me oil and soap, she said to the maids, and shut the garden gates while I bathe. They did as she said. They shut the garden gates and left the gates, the side gate, to fetch what she had ordered, unaware that the elders were hidden inside. As soon as the maid had left, the two old men got up and ran to her. Look, they said, the garden doors are shut. No one can see us and we want you. So give in to our desire and lie with us. If you refuse, we will testify against you that a young man was here with you. And that is why you sent your maids away. I am completely trapped, Susanna groaned. If I yell, it will be my debt. If I refuse, I cannot escape your power. Yet, it is better for me not to do it and to fall into your power than to sin before the Lord. Then Susanna screamed and the two old men also shouted at her. As one of them ran over the garden gates, when the people in the house heard the cries from the garden, they rushed in by the side gate to see what had happened to her. At the occasions of the old men, the servant felt very much ashamed, for never had she, never had such thing been said about Susanna. When the people came to her husband, joke him the next day, the two wicked old men also came full of lawless intent to put Susanna to death. Before the people, they ordered, send for Susanna, the daughter of Helakai, the wife of Jochim. And when she was sent for, she came with her parents, children, all relatives. Susanna was very delicate and beautiful, was veiled, but those transgressors of the law ordered that she be exposed so as to state, to sit themselves with her beauty. All her companions and onlookers were weeping. In the midst of the people, the two old men rose up and laid their hands on their head, on her head. As she wept, she looked up to heaven, for she trusted in the Lord wholeheartedly. The old man said, as we were walking in the garden alone, this woman entered with two servant girls, shut the garden gates and sent the servant girl away. A young man who was hidden there came and lay with her. When we in a corner of the garden saw this lawlessness, we ran towards them. We saw them lying together, but the men Man, we could not hold, because he was stronger than we. He opened the gates and ran off. Then we seized this one and asked who the young man was. But she refused to tell us. We testify to this. The assembly believed them, since they were elders and judges of the people, and they condemned her to death. But Susanna cried aloud, Eternal God, you know what is happened, what is hidden, and are aware of all things before they came to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die. 
though I have done none of the things for which these men have condemned me. The Lord heard her prayer as she was being led to execution. God stood up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, I am innocent of this woman's blood. All the people turned and asked him, What are you seeing? He stood in the midst and said, Are you such fools, you Israelites, to condemn a daughter of Israel without investigation and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people returned in haste to Daniel the elders, said, Come sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, separate these two too far from one another, and I will examine them. The trial. After they separated from each other, he called one of them and said, how you have grown evil with age. Now have your past since come to thirds, passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty. Although the Lord says the innocent and the just, you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, tell me under what three you saw them together. Under a Mastic three. He answered, Your fine lies has cost you your head, said Daniel, for the angel of the Lord has already received the sentence from God and shall split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be bought, offering of Canaan, offspring of Canaan, not of Judah. Daniel said to him, Beauty has seduced you. Lust has perverted your heart. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel. And in their fear, they yield to you. But a daughter of Judah did not tolerate your lawlessness. Now then, tell me, under what three you su surprised them together. Under an oak, he said, your fine lies has cost you your own head, said Daniel, for the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two, so as to destroy you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, blessing God, who saves those who hope in him. They arose up against the two old men, for there, by their own words, Daniel had convicted them of bearing false witness. They condemned them to the fate that they had planned for their neighbor. In accordance with the law of Moses, they put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. Hankaya and his wife praised God for their daughter, Susanna, who with Joachim, her husband, and all her relatives, because she was found innocent of any shameful deed. And from that day onwards, Daniel was greatly esteemed by the people. Here ended the trial of Susanna. There dwell a man in Babylon called Joachim, and he took a wife named Susanna. Here's what happened to Susanna by the hand of elders. She was brought to court by an accusation of the elders, who tried to lay with her in her husband's garden. When the attempt failed, they forged a case against the daughter of Israel, being Joachim's wife, a powerful, wealthy woman whose heart was for the Lord mm -hmm. and the people of God. But there was a young, vibrant, intelligent, 
by the knowledge of God. Man, he stepped in for Susanna, who was accused of having an affair with the invisible man. The accuser of the brethren will gasp at anything to get rid of her excellency. Being the wife of a king, that did not stop them from persecuting her just to lay with her for pleasure. They rather make up a story for men to believe that they are, they are not guilty. Here, Daniel's case is before the court of justice prevailed and so Susanna was released from the death penalty. Amen. But her accuser did not go free. If they will pay severely for the sick to damage the character, the reputation, and to create a pity of despair to get rid of the one that is sincere. But God is about to end the season for a reason. The enemies commit treason. They lie in the courtroom. And this is not going to happen to the Daniel's anointing. It's for new beginnings to rectify and establish things. And what the Lord is saying, maybe you are a Susanna this morning. Maybe you are in a situation where everything looks not in your favor. Where they will say, crucify her, crucify him. But as Susanna called on the Lord God of heaven, the judge of the universe who set up judges on the earth, she, the, the spirit of God entered into Daniel and he spoke by like an elder. He spoke as one that is learnt in the laws and he, he cracked the case. Are you in a situation where only one side of the story is heard and yours is closed? And there are many situations like that because of uh, the status. They were elders and they, they were also judges. And because of their position, no one listened to the innocent. And Daniel stood up and said, Israel, are you foolish to put a daughter of the feet to death without giving a hearing? And this morning, the Lord is giving you a hearing. The Lord is reminding us to call on his name. The enemy wants to gather dirt from your shoes. But it is not grass you walk on. You run with wings of eagles. The enemy will have no choice but to leave you alone. For their reign is over. Let the Davids take over. I decree and declare it in the atmosphere. Saul will never recover from the confusion they set up to make others look bad in the sight of men logos let me tell you what is happening to souls in this season they will not make it back from the war souls would end up in battle and also the sons of wickedness set for the mastery weeping may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning I will fight for David, saith the Lord, with the sword of the Lord of hosts. The Lord is reminding you this morning, listener, this battle is not yours. It is the Lord's. Fight for the cause of God, for healing and deliverance. Let us read the court hearing of Susanna's story. And this morning, you heard the audio of the story of Susanna. The opening statement of Daniel. Daniel arose to the occasion to help Susanna. Are you on trial because you are different, beautiful, successful, and fearless? To the point that the enemy wants you to be afraid by intimidation and evil plantation of false evidence appearing real. Are you being targeted as negative because of elders and deemed as men Deemed as men who are upright and would never lie. Are you in a position of a death sentence? But the Holy Spirit will intervene for God is no respecter of person. I am speaking of the Daniels and not the souls of today. 
Daniel opened up the legal case to clear innocent blood from being polluted. The enemy seeks to find an occasion to lure, to lie, to lure you into prison and take your spoils. But it would not happen. Saul will lose everything because of the upcoming David. David raised, he raised up his own army set by the Lord Almighty. Come follow me. Let me make you an offer you cannot refuse. God is no respecter of person. Amen. Daniel filled with the Holy Spirit. And Daniel judged the situation and cracked the case and made light of the darkness. And all the people saw the lies of the enemy. This very day, all the people will see the lies of the enemy against you. Wickedness must come to an end. For before this case end, the matter of petition. Logos take us to the throne and make man's request known. And this is a petition for all those who go through similar situations by elders or men who are seen as righteous elders and honorable men, but instead they are miserable and want to seduce and pervert justice by wickedness hiding under the tree that is not of me the time of deliverance has come and let us petition O honorable judge of the universe we humbly come before the throne of grace Amen. we are not under the influence of any strong wine lord nor do we have intoxicating drink or fermentation we come sober-minded to get the answer to the prayer manifested in the courtroom of heaven. We bring to justice evil men who strive on their position of several abilities, such as law, conduct, moral values, ethics, protocols, and invention of evil conversations to trap and twist other men. They are hated of good and want all haters of good and want all the good for themselves they act swell and don't care who they offend evil doers will pretend to the end that all is well let the praises begin they touch susanna and all who are susannas will be duly compensated and no debating petition prayer judge of the universe we bring this legal matter before your throne Amen. not susannas alone is being targeted susannas must worship the king and state her case in writing for salvation is of the jews good news the gentile is now grafted in israel will rise again for the master is coming to set things in motion for his children but wait a little longer. God is not finished bringing justice to the innocent. Kingdom government. Behold, I rise up new government, meaning kingdom government and kingdom standard. The Daniel anointing is upon all. It's upon Logos, my co-host, who can think the worst unless they are under a curse. Listener, who can think the worst of you? unless they are under a curse who can think the worst unless they are under a curse end this court session with a powerful verdict father let susanna's go free from the mouth of the lord has declared it mm -hmm. victory is from the almighty and the devil is in more trouble for he interfered with my co-host and he feared his fear the worst who is looking for a reaction of satisfaction the devil is building empty case of waste accusation for i will deliver israel lift up your heads O ye gates and the king of glory shall come in Amen. they ask who is this king of glory he is the lord strong and mighty he is 
to Lord Mighty in battle. Resident evil are evil that lives. It is evil that lives in the heart of men of desperation. Men are pretenders with their own agendas. Who can contend with God? Come to the front. Who will stand for the weaker ones? Let us have a conversation. And now it's time for our prophetic word news. Ezekiel chapter 13, drama presentation of the chapter. And it's still in line with the message. It is the call of God to the children of Israel and for the prophets in Israel and for those that call or represent the name of the Lord to put away the things that are not of God that is being endorsed in Jesus' name. Over to the prophetic word news drama presentation. <laughs> Now, from the Logos of Laura Tri Ministry, it's time for the Prophetic Word News Update. Wipe your face up and you will see your. You don't need you 
don't need anything else. You don't need your Bible. You don't need anything else. You don't need to pray to the God of Israel. You just do this. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesied, and say thus unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit, and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the desert. He have not gone up into the gap, neither made up the edges for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord said, and the Lord had not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they will conform their words. Have he not seen a vain vision? And have he not spoken a lying divination? Whereas he said, the Lord said it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, because he has spoken vanity and have seen lies, Therefore, behold, I am against you, said the Lord God, and my hands shall be upon the prophet that see vanity and divinate light. They shall not assemble with my people, neither shall he be in the writing of the people of the house of Israel. Neither shall he enter into the land of Israel. He shall know that I am the Lord. Because, even because, they have seduced my people, saying, Peace! And there was no peace. And one built a wall, and the other dug it with untampered mortar. Say unto them, which dug it with untampered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and hail, O great and stone, shall fall. And a stormy wind shall rain it. Lo, when it is fallen, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the dubbing where he hath dubbed? Therefore, thus said the Lord God, I will even rain it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in my anger, and a great ill stone in my fury. To consume it. So will I break down the wall that he have dug with untampered mortar, and bring it down to the ground, so that the foundation thereof shall be discovered, and it shall fall. He shall know and consume it in the midst thereof, and he shall know that I am the Lord. Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the world and upon them that have dropped it with untampered mortar and i will say unto you the world is no more neither they that drop it to wit the prophets of israel which prophesy concerning jerusalem and which see vision of peace for all and there is no peace said the lord god likewise Thou son of man, set thy face against the daughter of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart, and prophesy thus against them, and say, Thus said the Lord God, Woe to the woman that so pillow to all her own, and to make purchase upon the earth of every scatter to all the soul. Will he all the soul of my people? And will he save the soul of life that shall come unto me? And I will pollute you among my people, an answer of bread and a piece of bread, to slay the soul that should not die, and to save the soul of life that 
should not live. By the lion for my people that he hear your life. Wherefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am a crazy of pillow, wherewith he have all the soul to make them fly. And I will tear them from your hands, and I will let the soul go. Even the soul that he got to make them fly. Your uncultured also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hands, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. Because with lies he has made the hearts of the righteous sad, whom I have not made sad, and striking the hands of the wicked, that he shall not turn from his wicked ways by promising him life. Therefore, he shall see no more vanity, nor lying divination, for I will deliver my people out of your hands, and he shall know that I am the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. And I hand over to Minister Isaac, and with a few minutes as well, um, Foxy will play the um, our ads in terms of the tune into the our YouTube channel and how you could subscribe. And Minister Isaac will just share whatever he has to share, any prayer or whatever is in your heart. Just let me say a special good morning to those that are listening. I just want to mention about this ministry that we are a part of that God has given unto us. Those that are listening near, far, wide, in the Caribbean, in the wider region, and in the wider ocean. Let me just read what this ministry is about so you could have an idea about this ministry. About this ministry, it was founded upon the principle of the word of God for the people of God to be released by the word of God and for the presence of God. This ministry is not a church building of walls and flows made with those and as a pastor this ministry do not have a deacon this ministry do not have elders this ministry is not a university it is not a military economy it is not a gym this ministry is not a prison ministry this ministry is not a contractual arrangement this ministry is not an entertainment this ministry is not a stadium this ministry is not a palladium. This ministry is not a circus. And this ministry is not a carnival. This ministry is not a waterfall. And this ministry is not eminent place. This ministry is not a staircase. This ministry is not a basement. This ministry is not an environment. Nor anything named under the sun. Tri ministry is a ministry of clean and much merry. It is not a walk in the park to give man an art attack, nor a tap in the back. It is not to hide behind ignorance and arrogance and speak ill of me, the Lord is saying, when and what I have commanded anyone to do. Tri ministry is a well respected ministry that is for the unity form for the deliverance of my servants of righteousness to be perfected without wickedness. And this is the ministry that God has laid upon this earth. It is nothing mentioned under the sun and everything that man could think this ministry is not of that father yes, you have given this nation an establishment of god of your kingdom Jesus. that men could walk oh god in the fullness of god of your glory yes, that oh god no lid or no barrier or no major father could place the lord over their lives 
where they could upturn this nation by one scene and by one demonstration of God of your power where men of God will turn from wickedness and turn of God unto righteousness for you are God of established oh God each and every one to walk oh God in your holiness Lord not to follow the pattern of men and the desire oh God of men but oh God you look oh God in the hearts of men and you have turned oh Lord wickedness oh Lord into the glory of you because you're going to return back and you're going to ask Trinidad what they have done for that which you have delivered God unto them. And Father, you have delivered God not only today, but time pass and time to come. If no God in the future, your word has been spoken, O God, by many prophets and those that you have called, O God, out of darkness. Yes, and you have placed them, O God, into light to make an impact in this nation. That men, O God, will not go to a lost eternity, but O God, save O God from the kingdom of darkness. We ask you, Lord, to shake this nation and let every wicked and evil man, O God, fall off. You have given us, O Lord, the power and the authority to pull down every imagination of sin and every witchcraft, Father, and every organization, O God, of evil, Sorry. of men, O God, that intend, O God, to corrupt your people that you, O God, have established, Father. You, O God, has given us, Lord, the power and the authority to drive out false prophets and those, O Lord, that preach and teach corrupted things that you do not utter from your mouth. I pray, Father, this morning Jesus. that, O oh God, the hearts of men will turn from evil. That, O oh God, Satan will not receive, O oh God, the glory. But, O oh God, your righteousness, Lord, will continue to spread. We ask you right now, Father, continue to cleanse us. Make us pure. Yes, Lord. That we can stand in the light of righteousness. That your name will be glorified. Father, we thank you. And we bless your name. We now hand over to Foxy as he play. As God has delivered. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hi everyone and welcome to the Logos Laura YouTube channel. Logos is the word of God delivered from heaven. Tune in for more inspirational content as we continue to impact lives with Heavenly Manor and the Word News channel. Subscribe and you are inside. Like and share for others to hear what Logos Laura has prepared. Thank you to all subscribers, listeners, and promoters of this channel.